Welcome, it's Adrian Bow from Ray White Park Coast Eastern Suburbs and today I'm on Kidman Street in Coogee to talk about another local legend that had a massive impact on the evolution of this particular pocket of Coogee which takes in Brook Street, Mount Street as well as part of Coogee Bay Road. So Kidman Street has a certain ring to it given one of the most famous actresses in the world, Nicole Kidman, grew up a Sydney girl. Having been born in Hawaii and most local would probably just put that down as a coincidence. However, it is not a coincidence because the gentleman this street was named after was actually Nicole's great-great-grandfather, Mr. Charles Kidman, who arrived in Sydney from Nottingham in England as a sergeant in the army in 1845 and soon married Phoebe Good, producing six children, but tragically Phoebe passed away at only 37. Charles remarried to Sarah Matthews. Uh, I'd say that looking after six children, there would have been a coming together there where Sarah also gave birth to Arthur Kidman in 1865, who was to be Nicole Kidman's grandfather. Charles became a local entrepreneur who owned a shop on Oxford Street and a grocery store on the corner of George and Market Streets, as well as a bakery on South Head Road. His grocery store was famous for his Christmas marketing ploy. He would do a deal with a local dairy company to make him an enormous five ton block of cheese, which during the making of the this particular process, there'd be gold coins inserted. The enormous block of cheese would be paraded around Sydney on a cart pulled by a team of bullocks and by the time the cheese arrived back at the shop there would be an enormous lineup of housewives waiting to buy a slice of the cheese in the hope that their slice would contain a gold coin. His wealth enabled him to build a large family home known as Cambridge Villa on what was known back then as Whale Street in Ranwick. The block of land was several acres in size. In 1888, Kidman's estate was subdivided and the first blocks were sold off, establishing the adjacent road to Cambridge Villa as Kidman Street right here where I am today. The blocks included some fronting onto Mount Street, Carr Street, Brook Street and Coogee Bay Road. Over the intervening years, there were other subdivisions of Kidman's estate, including 1932 when blocks on the corner of Kidman and Brook Street were sold off right next to what had been established as Coogee Bay Post Office. This subdivision was known as the Cambridge Villa subdivision. Kidman Street, according to the records, has 168 units, seven homes, 55% being owner-occupied and 45% rented. There have been four sales in 2022, all apartments with prices ranging from 890 to 1.65, which was a sale that I handled being Unit 7 at 3 to 7 Kidman Street, a lovely two bedroom apartment with ocean views, as I said, for a record price of 1,650. So that's the story of how the Kidman Street area of Coogee evolved, which all began with Nicole Kidman's great, great grandfather. It's stories like these about my local community that that I am determined to keep alive. As ever, I'm always available to give you an appraisal of your property. Please call me on 0418 278 316 or email me at adrian.bow at raywhite.com. Enjoy the spring, keep smiling, and your home is worth more with Adrian Bow.